Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Oh, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Aberdeen have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too. And that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. And we're underway. Just to locate someone up front. Hoists it forward. Played towards the front men. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, what a ball! Forward it goes. That's not going to make it. And it's been given away. Gets the better of his man. A real chance if he can get... Gets up to head it! Away from immediate danger. Just joined us. Well, you've missed no goals. Oh, that's neat. Oh, and he's asking too much with that. Another throw in. Looks to bypass the midfield. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Drives it towards the front. Done very well to intervene. And it's played forward. Has he found his man? It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Tries to get it forward quickly. Steered forward. Forward it goes. Here's the whistle for half-time. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And the game has already resumed here. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped lots of effort but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical he's got options out wide and the finish well that is rather wayward uh, it was the first touch to die for and it set him up beautifully
hoists it forward. Cleared away. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Well positioned to make that interception. Goes direct to the front line. It's being played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Quick ball forward. Oh no, that's not the ball he wanted. Now, where's he looking? Could cross it here. And he heaves it forward. St. Johnston merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. to get it forward quickly uh, ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance oh, he'd have done well to reach that you wonder if that's it now but there may be one more opportunity Peter for a late late steal here well he's worked so hard for a side uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to to labor a bit. So it's no surprise There's only one word for this it, it's baffling that team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be and it's not there It's Russell off the ball. This has gone. That's uh, foul It was, it was a sterling effort, and at least he kept it on target. It was, yeah, it was worth a go. And that's it. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge at either end, and it finishes nil-nil. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Aberdeen can always take more positives from a result like this. Yes, there is some tidying up to do, but some real promise too. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.